Okay. Hello guys, welcome to another video. Now I'm going to make chest cavity survival season one using the chest cavity mod. Now yeah, I don't think I need anything here, so create new world and like we're ready to go. We're We're going to absolutely wreck every single boss that can possibly be summoned in vanilla Minecraft because I, I, yeah, I don't have any other mods downloaded. Now here we are, pretty. Well, now basically what the, wh why always jungle? Basically what the chest cavity mod does is that you can open the chest cavity of every animal in vanilla minecraft and uh, well as well as your own and you can just take whatever you like to take out of there well you could put it in your own chest cavity but if it's owned by them then uh, they'll then you'll get organ rejection I was hoping for a, for a spawn that was not in the jungle this time so I'm actually going to move away from here yeah that's right moving away first note down the coordinates so after the video is done I can uh, just not put them down on a not book in an yeah well I should probably get started getting my beer necessities like wood and food and all the all of that stuff now I'm going to get far away from this jungle so yeah it's going to be uh, a long series hopefully hopefully I don't give up on it and I have not given up on my hardcore streaming series I'm just gonna wait a little bit until I con I'm gonna wait a bit before I continue that I'm going to cross over to planes actually I'm going to get some uh, cobble maybe I could get some coal and iron while I'm at it but I don't think so just go ahead and get some more here now I have my axe I'm going to organize my inventory in a bit, but not right now. Oh, yes, iron. Okay, so well, the chest cavity mod makes everything easier. Actually, well, makes getting food easier. Nothing more, really. Oh, look, an abandoned. I probably shouldn't be running this much, but I. And there's a pillager outpost. I think I might just set a camp here. Okay, this is curse of malpractice. Okay, feather falling tree and mending. Pretty good at enchantments. Plus, and um, plus a golden apple. Just I'm not going to have these. I'm not going to wear them. So then I'll just go ahead and get over to. Well, well get over to some trees. And here's some coal. 
This is a pretty good cave. Close to my store, close to my living area. So probably hold on, not die a few minutes into this survival. Now I can safely make a furnace, a hoe and a shovel. A hoe first, but then I'll make a shovel. Then I will also make a lever. Le or lever, however, however you wanna say it. I'm going to just have to get up here kill three sheep so I can get my bed before I my curse starts and I, all the sheep of the area dis just disappear without a trace and I know I'm on there finally but okay so I'm going to kill this sheep. Now, what die does this make? Light grey. So, just gonna put this one back and get myself an old school red bed. I can do this, can I? Yeah, I can. I'm just gonna do this. And so then, this. And then he dies. Just get some seeds for later. Hopefully there's a village not too far away as well. And there's my there's the third white sheep. Well, well, I, I'm just gonna keep my red bed. And hopefully, I don't die of starvation. Probably shouldn't be running this much. And another cave. Okay, I'm going to explore this one first, but I also have to just uh, make my bed right here, set my respawn point, uh, set my furnace down, make some slabs, put them in here. And put the raw mutton in there. Then I will just wait. Okay. Wait so that I can get some food. I'll just take this. Eat up. And then I'll go down into the cave. Okay, so. Ah. Okay, no, thank you. But here we go. Find some real material for burning. And also some more iron. It's a good amount of iron. Now I can just go up. And then... I'll just go ahead and... Uh, there it's done. I can set some iron in there. Put down the chest here. Make another chest. Just like this. I'm actually thinking I'm just gonna make 
have an area where I'll just light it up, then that, and then fence, uh, put a huge fence around it. Actually, no, I don't think I will do that. So I'm just, but I'm. Now I can make some shears and a chest opener. This is really good for getting food. Just gonna fit this wood in here. And I think this that should be enough. So now sundown is arriving. And do will I get? An, yeah, we'll get just enough actually. There we have it. Look at. Okay, so I'll just put this in here. Just like this. I'm gonna use these two sticks to make some torches and I'll go to sleep. And then I'll also have to write the corners here. Go. So now we can just up. There we go. I should probably make sure I have a way to get back up as well. might actually be able to live down here just make it a little nicer after a little while yeah, I think I'm actually no no actually no I'm not going to live deep down into the cave even though it's just like 20 blocks away from the surface I'm just going to get all my stuff And I'll go deeper into this part of the cave, maybe. Oh, you can actually hit me. Okay, so it's a little better than I thought. Not, not much in here. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly grab this coal and yeah, I'm just gonna use the chest opener on a cow to make half a stack of decent meat so food won't be a problem for me that's for sure and all of this it does take a while though just in the beginning before I got instant mine actually want to make some more torches there. here we go Just mine mine and mine all the way to victory Mining to victory. Or it's 
mining or mining till victory. Same thing. Yeah, I'm gonna say same thing. I uh, had quite the difficulty getting up there. Okay, so here we go. Hmm. Where's the cow? Where's a cow? I can use. I'll use the not pig. Hello, piggy. Just uh, take all of this. And make it all to make make it into something that gives a bit more nutrition. And then I'll just go back here. For going here and there we go. Now I'll begin uh, setting up my farm. I also have some pretty rich area. This is pretty flat down here so I can make my farm down here. Expand it further that way. That is pretty good area. There's a small cave here though. And it has. Mm, that scared me a little bit. I'm just gonna wait. Oh, I can't actually reach me. Just take this iron I picked up and use it for something. And just I'm actually going to maybe put my house inside of this area here. Place, uh, setting up the place before I continue to make the rest of the farm. There we go. Have my basic farm up. I need to get some more jungle wood though. That's Pretty deep hole right there. Would not be fun to drop down there. Okay. There we have the end of that cave adventure. You might have noticed that this is just uh, that I have season one here. Then I am actually planning to make multiple seasons. Where from season one to season two, I can choose whatever tool I'd like, I'll, and I'll take it over to season two. And after that, I can choose another tool. Well, yeah, I'll have to take the one from season one and further, further it over to season 3 as well so I don't think I'm going to have, have uh, this year so long that I'll have to put and get a whole shulker box a shulker box full of stuff if I do then that's 36 items well, 36 unstackable items. Because I 
if I chose to take a diamond, that would be exactly that one diamond. So yeah. This tree. Here we go. And chop, 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 chop. Let's see if I could find any saplings from the previous trees. And no, I cannot. So I'll just try to find some from the new ones. So then I can have a jungle tree farm right outside of my house. Pretty practical. And I only got one sapling there. But from over here, I've we got many saplings yet? No. some saplings from these jungle trees. Mm. All I want is four saplings total. Mm. And I don't know why I can't get four saplings total. Mm. I got two saplings total so far. Is this okay I can go I'm thinking I'm going to go to sleep then I can just start on my house when I wake up yes I don't think I need the coordinates for the jungle I have a jungle right next to me. But you never know how forgetful one can get. Finished. I need to put back down my crafting table and craft another pickaxe. No one stick. There you go, another pickaxe. I have enough food for a little bit. You see, one and a half hunger bars. So yeah, I'm I'm thinking that that's good enough for one animal. Give me half a stack. Of cooked butchered meat. Before I begin setting up my house, just gonna put everything here outside. So I am. So I have a little camp. Well, if in case I die, some in case I somehow manage to die while. Well, setting up the house I'll be able to respawn there's my shovel here we are I'm just gonna just gonna put some torches A proper house. Mm, I'll uh, make it nice and all that stuff at a later date. At the moment, I'm just trying to get myself a place to live. And I think that's more important than safety. I 
but I don't think that's more important than safety. I think safety is more important than a place to live. But a place to live is actually quite good safety. So gives and also pays good in resources. I fill up this bucket of mine. Tropical ocean. A, l a lot of kelp. Yeah, that's. I won't need coal actually for burning uh, purposes. I just have a automatic kelp farm. Just bur just feeding my furnaces or furnace. However, it's whatever it's called when it's multiple. And I will have to make the house wider as well. For now, I'm just going to put torches on the ground to keep everything lit up because I don't know. Actually, know that. It bothers me. I'm gonna put them on the walls. I'm gonna fix it up later. Okay, so me building my house probably is not that interesting. But I'm too lazy to edit out, so you'll just have to watch me build my house. And now you've probably watched 26 minutes of video, but I am making it possible for you to copy every single step I make. So it, it's kind of like a huge tutorial, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, and if you actually in indeed do want to copy every single move I make in this survival world, I will actually give you the seed to the world after I'm done mining out everything here. This uh, my house won't look quite nice before I've uh, gotten decent tools. I don't think stone tools are decent, so I will make. I think actually diamond unenchanted diamond tools are decent tools. Good tools are enchanted diamond tool, enchanted diamond and the right tools. But I've also seen that there is indeed a cleaver in here, but I don't know how to make it. If anyone does know how to make a cleaver in, uh, what was it, uh, chest cavity in the chest cavity mod, please tell me. I, I just want to know. Now I have hauled out a good portion of space for stuff I might need. There we go, now I can move everything into my house. My bed will be here. My chests will be here, my furnace will be here, and was I not able to pick up the crafting table? That's correct. And my crafting table will be here. I'll just put what I don't need into my chests, like all of this. 
organize it. I'll organize it later. I'll now begin making some fences. One fence gate. There we go. We have the fences. I don't know if this will be enough. But I uh, just hope it is. Definitely not enough fences. And me who also wants to expand this farm heavily in the future, even though I definitely will not need to expand this farm at all, because I'm just going to have to give my livestock some food. So that they can breed up and then I'll just take their organs out. Easy peasy. I'm missing one more batch of the fences. I'll do this, this, and this. And there. All of these fences are done. Now, the thing I was going to do was uh, slash seed there you have it my seed now anyway let's get out of here and where did all the good livestock go they're still up here I will give them a nice and cozy cobblestone enclosure yes that is correct a cobblestone enclosure. Probably <laughs> might get a better one in the future, but <coughs> sun's going down, so I'll, uh, I'll build it afterwards. And I'm also not that rich yet. Can't really do much about how much money I have. I'm well, resources, money, one and the same thing, really. I may just misplaced that. Now, let us just go in here and sleep. Ah, my hand. My hand. Ah, I popped my wrist. That, that really hurt. Ah. Did not like that. Well, and we let me just do this. Like, uh, yeah, six by four enclosure. this like this area up I should run or sprint episode I will indeed lure animals in these two enclosures I also have to light this one up and I'm not going to worry about pigs so actually why don't I just go ahead and steal some of their ribs 
to make some bone meal. Mm, you seem to be the, a one in need of time need of. Well, I am using my shears, not the chest opener. So you are the one in dire need of re removal. Just do this. This is 16 bone meal. Here we go. Time to bone meal my crops up to get exactly four wheat or more. Four wheat or more. Because I'm of course going to use all of my bone meal. Yeah, I got eight wheat. Twice as much as I needed to, you know, get the animals in their enclosures. And then after, also, uh, what was it again? Yes, keep them, uh, breed them. Cows, cows. Mm. I need the cows. Mm. Mm. Get some cows. Three cows is enough because then I can just breed two of them. And that's enough sheep over there. Ah, and there's a lot more sheep and cows here. Just gonna move forward. Hopefully, these sheep aren't attracted to my wheat. Without anything bad happening. Come on, cows! Come on, come on, come on! I need you to follow me on this one. I need you to trust me here. That I am not going to trap you. Look here, I have wheat, I have wheat, I have wheat. There you go. You two get to breed. You'll just have to wait until they have child. Children, children. Really, I just need to get sheep now. Move this. And put this. Then I'll take this into my offhand. Run over. Get three sheep because I got three cows hello sheep 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 there you go sheep acquired two more to go two sheep acquired one more to go I can see uh, three sheep mm -hmm. sheep number three and then here we go. None more to go. I'll just go ahead and speed over to my animal enclosures. And here the cows be breathing heavily and in dire need of wheat. They will not get the wheat. Because I will not give them the wheat. And you two can breed. The third one will have to wait. And you know what? I will also have to just steal your wool. Now I have a good portion of wool. Now I'll find this. This is my animal chest where I put all the stuff I gain from animal uh, including food which is not gotten from animal like this wheat that's sweet oh. well I will actually end this video here at about 40 minutes in so I'm just going to say <laughs> I hope you liked the video if you did yeah, you, if you like the video, I hope you will watch more of this 
series so goodbye and see you in the next video yeah